Hi everybody, it's Kathy here from Beads Boxes and Beyond and I am so happy that you stopped in. Uh, today I wanted to just do a flip through of uh, this journal that I recently have completed. This journal is currently listed on my Etsy site so if you're interested in that you can just go to my Etsy the link will be in my description below. Um, but I do my flip throughs to give the per the people that go to Etsy you're very limited on the amount of photos that can describe your piece and so I'd like to do a video to help with that. Gives you an idea how big it is in somebody's hands and what it actually you know kind of looks like. So this is a recent journal that I've made. It's a hardcover front and back and as you can see I was experimenting and playing with a little bit of crackle medium. Um, I just really like how this turned out. And then of course the um, emblem on the front is just stacked pieces of metal work. And then I laced it together with some copper wire and it is actually secured through the cover on this side but it's covered up by the felt that I have. I have a soft spine the spine I did make of felt, a really heavy, um, stiff felt, and I sewed the signatures in, and I adored, adorned some of the sewing with these metal beads, and I just think it complements the colors and the look of this journal. So uh, the back has nothing on it except a textured uh, crackle finish to it. Just really, really like that. So let's just go ahead and take a flip through real quick. Again, I'm so excited you're here to share this with me. Um, I really, really like the outcome of this book. I have four signatures in this book, and the reason for the soft spine, as you, if you've watched my other videos, is because it gives ease for both left and right hand writers to be able to write in it, and the book lays flat. Um, each one of my signatures I have on the outside a cardstock or some kind of a specialty on the outsides of each signature and the inside just consists of a variety of coffee stained pages. Some are lined, um, some are just, you know, uh, school paper, things like that. So this is for a lot of writing. Uh, that's why I make my journals for a lot of writing. But let's get started here. So my front cover is just this piece of cardstock. I have my card attached. Um, I have a cheesecloth that helps um, with the effect of the spine. I really like that look too. Uh, so on the inside of this first piece here, I have a business envelope with a with a window in it, um, and I just made some uh, tags. For you to write on and that goes in here now with all of my journals you don't have to keep the things that i put in the pockets or the tuck spots that's up to you you can easily remove them or add more of your own things but each one of my journals i like to put in there lost items that i have found at antique stores and flea markets case in point i have this old letter from 1922 it's actually a postcard letter it's just a little postcard, if I can get it out. It's a postcard written, um, which I thought was interesting. And it has a, a, a seal, looks like an Easter seal, Christmas seal on it. So um, being dated December 22nd, I take it it's a Christmas seal. But my journals, I like to go and purchase things like um, old photos and postcards, things that are just kind of lost things that have penmanship on it, you know, um, that are old and, and just add them to the journals for a place to hold them. So I have these tags here and this really cool little uh, multi um, tag pocket for you could, you know, you can easily put pictures on these or, you know, tape and adorn the tag to anything that you would like. So this was the second signature and again I have a packet of pages in the middle for you to write on and document. 
And then here we have a pocket and it has some blue birds on it. And in the pocket we just have a couple of cards for you to write on. I especially love this card, or tag. I love the penmanship on that one. The calligraphy is just gorgeous. So, um, you know, it gives you an idea of just some of the things that you can tuck in. And behind this pocket, I have two items. I have an old receipt from a hardware plumbing supply store, and it looks like it's dated 1941. And then I have a vellum type envelope here, and it has two bird feathers. I have one really long blue jay feather, and then another one that's just a dark, probably a pigeon feather. And I have that stuck in there. And then this is the third signature, and instead of a card stock to surround this signature, I have a piece of canvas. And it's to give a, the person who owns this journal an idea. Sometimes you have pens, pins or jewelry items or just, you know, little things like that that you just don't know what to do with. This gives you an opportunity to stick it in your journal if it's not too big and, and bodacious. But here is a... Um, a nice little old um, photo and this here is an antique lapel pin and I don't know if you can see that it actually has a girl's face on it it's in really bad condition um, but it shows its age and uh, I, I thought it'd be nice you know just to put on that page to give you an idea and then we have another section of you know just the coffee stained papers and then on this side here is another example. This is like a, a boutonniere pin or a lapel pin. Uh, I just used that and used an old ticket right there to secure it. And then on this side we have another one of these uh, photo booth photos. So this signature here being the last one, I made a pocket on this side with a little bit of some collage work of stamps and pictures. And in here we have an alphabet card, just something different, and an old postcard. I usually have a photo, a letter, and an old postcard in every one of my journals. I really try to do that. Unfortunately, I do have some of these old postcards that don't have any address or writing on it or the stamp. And uh, I try to, to just get the writing ones and ones with stamps, but... This one is very dated, very aged, very yellowed, and it works really well in the journal here. It's uh, from another country, and I'm not even sure where it's taken. taken. But uh, on this side here, I have a folder, and it actually says photographs on it. Um, you can open it up, and I put an example here with just another one of these photo booth photos. You can add photos if you'd like on both sides, really or write in it, whatever you prefer. But here I added a little pocket and a tag in case you needed it to write down any dates or special things or uh, names, you know. And then um, we have another pack here of the section of our writing papers, all coffee stained. And this back piece here we have a, a little pocket and I have one of these uh, cards and I just stuck it in there. This would be a good spot to put anything, you know, paper clippings or anything like that would be held right in there if you'd like. And then the back just has a cardstock piece of some uh, music paper and my stamp is down in the bottom. So that's it really in a nutshell. It's uh, more work was put into the cover than the actual insides of the book. I usually spend an awful lot of time doing the insides but so many people really just want something to write in and just a few places to tuck their mementos so this uh, this is what I came up with and each each journal I design and work with and make it's just learning another process or just you know adding different elements and stuff and I really really like this one I really like the colors of it so if uh, you enjoyed seeing this, take a jump over on my Etsy site and just see if it's still available, and uh, you can take a look at it there. So until the next time, I will leave you, 
and hope you have some inspiration and enjoy this video. Leave any comments you like below. Subscribe and share my channel if you know of somebody who would enjoy viewing it. And until next time, adios. I'll see you later, my friends. Goodbye.